Copper, stone, wood, grass, open space. Together, these natural elements combine to create a peaceful refuge at the center of the CG campus. Public art invites us to reconsider how we see the world. It can surprise us, delight us and fill us with wonder. Public art elevates the human experience and brings new meaning to the experiences of everyday living. Richard Fleischner is an internationally recognized artist and the creator of a new artwork at the CG campus. When we imagined this campus, public art was always a part of the project. Of course, there's a strong connection between the creative work that researchers and students do and the creative process pursued by artists. Richard's art piece brings this area to life and it engages anyone who walks through it to consider what this campus is about. We wanted exactly that, a challenging piece that would compel someone to think a little bit longer about why the people on this campus have come together. With a vision so strongly articulated and supported, CG had to find the right artist to satisfy the courtyard space. It was Jim Bolsley's idea to have the art installation in the courtyard and the art committee thought it was a wonderful idea and that's the direction that we then gave to all the competing artists. The piece that was selected by Richard Fleischner was um, clearly uh, from the very start um, a very, very interesting proposition as its uh, concept was really rooted in what CG does. Richard Fleischner is well recognized for his creation of many art installations across the world. His attention to detail, his focus on concepts, and his consideration of the peripheral elements makes this particular work exist vibrantly on the CG campus. The built projects, which I've been doing for 45 years, they all respond to the particular place in which they exist. I love sort of an asymmetrical symmetry. I love geometry. I love the play of organic and inorganic. People tend to think of art as something quite decorative. And what I do is it's not about pretty. It's very much a thought-provoking process. Again, it has so much to do with the issues this place wants to address. It's about understanding. What the artist has then done is he has these copper markers distributed through the grass. And what they are is they are actually on the points, according to the invisible world map below the whole piece, um, they identify places where um, very, very important issues or events have taken place related to global governance. A number of events have shaped world history and how individuals interact with each other across border and how nation states interact with each other. The sealing of the Magna Carta by King John in Runnymede, England in June 1215 is important to international governance history because it led to the rule of constitutional law in the English-speaking world. Through this document, the king proclaimed certain liberties and accepted that his will was not arbitrary. It established the modern concept of individual rights and the obligations of the state to its citizens. The French Revolution, which began in Paris in 1789, is another monumental event that, in spite of its terrible excesses, helped shape the modern world. It gave birth to structures and documents that continue to influence modern governance globally. It also sparked the Napoleonic Wars, which led, after the defeat of Napoleon, to the Congress of Vienna, a precursor to the League of Nations and, eventually, the United Nations. In February 1863, in Geneva, Switzerland, another major event occurred when the International Committee of the Red Cross convened for the first time. The Red Cross is now an international organization whose worldwide mission is to help victims of conflicts and internal violence, whoever they are. The signing of the Charter of the United Nations in San Francisco in June 1945, in the closing days of World War II, is another key moment in international governance history. Founded as a replacement for the ineffectual League of Nations, the UN was created to stop wars and provide a platform for dialogue among nations. And with 193 member nations as of 2011, the UN represents humanity's most comprehensive effort to date to maintain peace and promote cooperation in addressing economic and humanitarian problems. The artistic process is a creative journey 
it influences communities and cultures. In recognizing 19 world-changing events, we recognize that this campus is about contributing to an evolving world of global interaction and cooperation. This public arc is a hallmark of the new CG campus. I hope that when people experience it, they consider the accomplishments humankind has achieved for the betterment of the world and are inspired to see more milestones added over the years to come.